This is part of QCstep.com, and in this video, I will walk you through the new hire paperwork. My name is Corey Finneran, and I am a transition specialist with the STEP program. The new hire process and the paperwork can be confusing, especially with your first job. But the paperwork is actually pretty simple, and in this video, I hope to explain it clearly so that you don't find it to be intimidating when you're filling it out. So let's start off with the I-9 form. This is a form that everyone that is working in the U.S. must fill out. It verifies that you're eligible to work in the United States. There are many different ways to show that you're eligible to work. The most common documents are a U.S. passport, a driver's license, a state ID, a social security card, your birth certificate, school records, and your school report card. There is a sheet that shows all of the documents that you can use, and it looks like this. My goal is to keep this simple. If you have a passport, then that's all you will need to verify that you're eligible to work. If you don't have a passport, you can use a driver's license, a state ID, or if you're under 18, you can use a school report card or your school records. If you use any of these things, you'll also need to show your birth certificate, or your social security card. Like most government documents, the I-9 can be a little overwhelming when you first look at it, but it's really not that difficult to fill out. All you're going to need to fill out is the part here that is highlighted. As you can see, you'll need to print your last name, first name, and middle initial. If you have a maiden name, put that in there. You fill out your address, your date of birth, and your social security number. There are three boxes under that, and you'll need to check one of these. If you're a citizen or a national of the United States, you'll check that first box. Then you sign in date. That's all there is to this document. The rest will be filled out by your employer. Again, it looks like a lot when you first look at it, but as you can see, it's pretty basic. The next form you'll need to fill out is the Federal W-4 form. This is the form that lets your employer know how much money they need to withhold from your income for your federal income tax. There are two sections that you'll need to fill out. It looks confusing, but it's pretty simple too. The first part is the Personal Allowances Worksheet. Before you fill this out, you'll want to talk with your parents or guardians to find out if they claim you on their taxes. If they do, this part is real simple. You put a zero on line H and you're done. If your parents or guardians don't claim you on their taxes, you will put a number one on line A and a one on line H. That is what you would normally do. And if you have any different circumstances or questions, speak with your parents or guardians. Let's move down to the bottom of the document. You fill in your first name and middle initial, your last name, social security number, and address. Then you'll check the appropriate box if you're single or married. On line five, you're going to put the number from line H up on the top part. Then you sign in date. Your employer will fill out boxes eight, nine, and 10. So that's the federal W-4 form. Like the I-9, it can be a little confusing, but if you block out all the stuff that you don't need to worry about, it's actually pretty simple. The last thing you'll need to fill out is the state W-4 form. We pay federal income tax, and we also pay income tax to the state, and that's what this form is for. As I said with the federal W-4 form, before you fill this out, you'll want to talk with your parents or guardians to find out if they claim you on their taxes. And like the federal form, if they claim you, this part is real simple. You will put a zero on line one and a zero on line three and line four. Moving down to the second section, because you're in high school, you will probably only do anything with this section if you are legally blind. There is a box to check for that. 
on lines 5, 8, and 9, you will write down the total number of boxes you checked in that section. On the bottom of the document, you will find a lot of the same information you have filled out in the other documents. Your social security number, your name, and your address. On the right side, on line 1, you're going to fill in the number that you wrote on line 4 above. And then on line 2, you're going to write the number from line 9, if you have a number on there. That is the Illinois W-4 form, and most likely the last one you'll need to fill out when you get hired. So to review, when you're hired for a job and you need to fill out the hiring paperwork on that first day, these are the things that you'll need to take with you. If you have a passport, that's all you'll need to take. If you don't have a passport, you'll need to take your driver's license or a photo ID and your birth certificate or social security card. This process can be intimidating, especially with your first job. But really when you break it down and ignore all of the writing on the documents that you don't need to pay attention to, it's pretty simple. And now you can go to work and start working for that first paycheck. You can find other informational videos, podcast episodes, job leads, and tips of the week at qcstep.com. If you have any questions about anything covered in this video and you'd like to speak with someone from the STEP program, email info at qcstep.com.